A number of Manchester United supporters expressed their frustrations following Tottenham Hotspur's first half capitulation against Liverpool at Anfield on Sunday afternoon. Exactly a week after finding themselves 5–0 down against Newcastle United at St James Park after just 21 minutes, the Londoners found themselves 3–0 down against Jurgen Klopp's team after just 15 minutes. After Curtis Jones and former United transfer target Cody Gokpo had powered the home side into a 2–0 lead after just five minutes, Mohamed Salah added a third from the penalty spot ten minutes later. Sandwiched between those two capitulations, however, Spurs, against all odds, fought back from 2–0 down to earn themselves a point against United at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium on Thursday night. Pedro Porro and Sun Hung Min both scored in the second half to cancel out Jadon Sancho's and Marcus Rashford's first half strikes. United were in complete control at the break and it seemed impossible to believe that Spurs would stage a second half comeback. United took their foot off the gas and allowed the Londoners to creep back into the game and fashion enough opportunities that, in the end, could have secured them all three points. Considering the Reds squandered a two-goal lead against Ryan Mason's side in between them being on the receiving end of two first-half hammerings, United's supporters were understandably frustrated and angry that Eric Ten Hag's troops failed to kill them off in midweek. Below. Men Sport has taken a close look at how some United supporters reacted to Spurs finding themselves 3-0 down to Liverpool after just a quarter of an hour, less than 72 hours after their side failed to beat them. As you can see from the messages displayed in the tweets above, United supporters were livid by the fact their side had failed to take full advantage of their recent struggles, questioning how they had failed to win the game, particularly after leading 2-0. Spurs did, however, pull a goal back shortly before halftime at Anfield through United target Harry Kane, meaning the two sides went into the interval with the scoreline reading 3-1 in Liverpool's favour. Meanwhile, earlier in the day, United bounced back from their setback at Spurs with a hard-fought 1-0 win over Aston Villa at Old Trafford. Bruno Fernandes scored the only goal of the game, finding the net in the first half.